Good morning. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen is all the children that come to church. I love it. It's so fantastic. Even if they're carrying their shoes down the aisle. Oh. It's probably not very comfortable, is it, Sparrow? So, this morning on absolutely no notice, I've decided to tell a story about fear. I think you know I don't have a problem getting up in front of the church. I've done it a few times. But there are a lot of things that people are afraid of. Do you guys have things you're afraid of? Anybody? Are you afraid of bears? I would probably be afraid of bears too if I actually saw one in person, other than at the zoo. At the zoo, they would be cool to see, huh? Anybody else have something they're afraid of? Pastor, what are you afraid of? Frogs. Really? (laughs) So I teach swimming lessons. And a lot of times when I am getting ready to have kids jump into the deep end of the swimming pool, they say, I can't do it. I'm afraid. I'm too scared. And do you know what my response is when they tell me that? Good. It's good to be afraid, and it's good to try things that you're afraid of. Sometimes, if we are scared and we don't want to do something, if we do- oh, Pastor Cheryl has a gift for you. I love it. That is perfect. I pretend to be a frog when I'm swimming in the pool to help the kids as they get through the water. We bounce like frogs through the water. When you're afraid of something and you stay away from it forever and you never try it, do you ever overcome that fear? Nope. You're right, Phoenix. You don't. You will never overcome your fear if you don't try. So when the kids say, Coach Jenny, I can't jump into the pool. I'm scared. My response is always, that's good. That's why we try things, so that we have a chance to overcome our fear. And I am right here beside you. And when you jump into the water, I'm going to reach out my hand, and I'm going to grab hold of you. Don't jump on me. Don't grab for me. But I will be here to reach out and grab a hold of you if you need it. I will protect you and keep you safe. So when we're in the swimming pool, there's lifeguards walking around, and there's coaches helping all the kids learn things. But when I'm home and I find that I'm afraid of something, what can I do? I could do it, and I can know that God is there to reach out his hand and grab me if I'm in trouble, and I don't have to worry because I trust him. Like the kids, when they come to lessons, they trust the coach, and they trust the lifeguards. I trust that God will grab a hold of me. I don't need to grab a hold of him, and I don't need to jump on him, but I just know that if I take the jump and I jump in where I'm scared, God is there to reach out his hand and to grab me and help me to safety if I need it. But I also know that he's watching so that if he doesn't have to grab a hold, but he's just there to comfort me, that also helps to take away my fear. So I want you to think about As you go through the week, think about something that you're afraid of, something that you have never wanted to try before, and think about God standing there beside you within arm's reach, ready to grab a hold if he needs to. Okay? Thank you all so much for coming and being such good listeners and for sharing today. And you can go back to your seats.